Okay. <coughs> Does that make any sense? Like if I put the you have to get the edge forward. If I put the club like that now, yeah. the leading edge is there, right? Yeah. It's quite, if I do it like that, you see how much more bounce I've created. I've taken that front edge up off the. You take it out of the equation. Yeah. Yeah. Does but when you sense? open it up like that, Eamon, you're creating a cushion with the sand between the. The ball, you're not actually hitting the ball then, are you? No, you're, no, it's a not, cushion. The, the, the sand actually is the taking, sand, the sand is taking the ball. The sand pushes the ball out of the yeah. marker. Right. No. You hit the ball, you're in trouble. And how do you get spin? Well, the reason how we get spin on the ball is because we, we, uh, Spin the ball, you watch any good player and you watch his divot. You always have, you have the ball, the club face, and when you see the divot, the divot always comes after the ball. Does that make sense? No, I'm not the ball out the ball, spinning the ball out of the bunker. Okay. Well, spinning the ball out of the bunkers is um, the sand actually works as a I was playing on the main court before they brought out the box grooves. I used to leave my wedge in with tailor made and they used to put it in a little machine and they'd sandblast it all the time and they'd get that effect. You see that? Sort of with sand on it. Now that would spin the ball and that, that rough sand on the ball. Automatically. So, so Harry, you're up at Harry's, but he'd play a bunker shot. He'd never wipe the sand off the, off the club place. Sort of, I mean, it wouldn't be illegal, you know? Yeah, in fact. Is that Teflon finish? Is that still legal? I would doubt it very much. I doubt it. You know the Teflon finish they had on? It's okay for the amateurs. Big word? It's okay for the amateurs. But these these are the new grooves now. I mean, I can't spin the ball as much with these as I can with my old wedges. But are you saying that the sand looks after the spin? Yes. It's a natural process. That's so what if, you, if you've delivered the club face, if you've delivered everything right, then... Absolutely. Yeah. Now you could, you could get it to stop on the second bench. Well, I, yeah, I could probably get it, I'll show you. Gary was in there, hit the, hit, where are you? See, that's illegal, that club. <laughs> I can't use that now. That's because, you know, because of the grooves. So he'll spin it quicker now than I will. For me to spin this now, I have to get it as tight, the club face, as tight to the ball as you can imagine. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. The braver you get to do it, the more it's going to spin. But no, what, what I have say to you is, there's no reason that you have to take a chance to do that with that shot. You know? You don't have to spin it that much. If I get that point wrong, just a little bit wrong, get me to try to spin it, I can just flush it over the green. So, you know, you say the tighter you get the rod, and there, hence the less sand there is in the book, the easier it is to spin it. Yes. You're not going to get the sand to the Correct. Correct. Hard time. Absolutely. Absolutely. <coughs> well, it's a, it's, but it's a tricky shot, though. Oh, yeah. You, no, you, you get it wrong. Yeah. You get it wrong. Now, I've got to show you, I've got to show you a shot here. Up here. Here's a shot. Trevino showed me this shot years ago. I got to get somebody to play it, somebody strong to play it before I play it.
and just see how they get out. Gary, you're the, you're the strong fella. I just want to see how you play this show. Somebody like Gary is strong. Yeah, that's 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 I would like to be in that dark alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you're a woman then? Pray. This is a shot Trevino showed me a long, long time ago. And it's amazing if you trust it, it works. I watched them hitting um, some of the Lynx courses. The only place I would have seen him at the open, the, the sand is so soft that, I mean, you can only see the top of the ball. And I was hitting some shots at him, and he said, no man, he said, I'm going to show you a shot. And what he showed me was, he said, no, I don't believe you, you can't play it like that. He got into the bunker, and he turned the club like this. I said, Lee, I don't believe you, you can't play it like that. He said, you watch this. You got in. Turn it like that. Okay. Now, every time it comes out, and you know, when I, ex when I explain it to you, you'll see why it comes out. Because the club, the ball is buried. I turn the club like that. There's so much sand to go through before I get to the ball. It's like that when it gets to the ball. It just pops out. Whereas if you were to stand in the box and try and play it like that, just take the fingers lump out of the golf ball. Or, well, now this is this is a lie you don't get too often. <laughs> Thank God it's right. But watch again now. I'll get is that to do it. Just trust it. Now you'd have to go away and do this on your own if you think, God, this is going to hit me up in the mouth. You'd be happy with that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Terry, come and have a go. Evan, <laughs> back is bad to die. Okay, Terry. Ian here. Ian is dying oh, to go. Where is Ian? Ian, Ian here. Go ahead. Grab the camera and you never get, you never have to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Now, I mean, no, no, Ian, no, 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 no. The heck out. I've heard that before. It just looks so. Now, trust, no, just pull him a little bit right. Even look at the price of the flag. Yeah, it's not open now, you see. You're nearly back you open it again. Open, 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 open. It's open. You did all right? He did all right, but I didn't really jam it, it in the sand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do one where you think you won't get it out. Very lovely. It works. It works great. Here's the shot here. I'll show you. You get one back here. In the back of the bunker. Yeah. And you've got the high lift behind yeah. you, which we don't really have here. Now this is a much more precise shot. And really what we're, going, what we're trying to do here is we're really trying to pick this ball off this slope here. So when I'm playing this shot, I'm really thinking of this sort of making sure that I watch the ball so I concentrate on exactly where the club hits the sand here. You know, a lot of the times we play shots and we actually don't watch the ball. Our head is down there but we don't actually see the shot being played. I remember having a bad run somewhere and Christy Senior said to me, he said, you're not watching the ball long enough. Oh, that's ridiculous. Something you'd say to a 20 handicapper. But I actually wasn't. I wasn't watching the ball actually focusing on the club playing the shot and it made such a difference. See that very one here, see what happens. Open stance, open club face. Don't grip it too tight. Now I'm gonna have to pick this up. The picking up is easy for me because I've done it all my life. 
with fellas who swing it a bit flat have to be careful about these fresh edges. But all I'm going to think about is really get the club in tight to the ball. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 No. I just stand open. Oh, yeah. I mean I do it naturally, do you understand? Yeah. But I mean I just you certainly don't want to get closed on this shot. The more open you are, the more you pick it across, the more it's it's, it's going to help. Playing this shot, the secret is is watching really watching where the ball the club is going to hit the ball that you don't if you get too close obviously it's away like a one iron if you get it too much behind the ball it's going to come out with so much top spin on it so you really what you're trying to do is you're trying to just pick it like that now, where is your weight my weight's on my right side because I'm trying to counter out the knife here it can't be here so yeah. i have to sit have to sit into this shot here, you know? Really flex those knees, bounce that club in. Who's gonna play? Would you like to play the shot? Okay, Gary, he's too freaking good. <laughs> but that's probably the harder shot for the amateur now, isn't that? Oh, yeah. The further it's up this fine. I think he was I hope. Yeah. That's a tough shot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough shot. Hit it easy. No, <laughs> no, it wasn't thin. I mean, it just you hit it. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't a terrible shot. I mean, sometimes you have to realize when you're in a bunker that it's a result just to get the thing onto the green. That you don't get too clever and, and leave it there. So sometimes walking off the green with a bogey is a result. That's a classic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That one there. Yeah. I mean, we're getting down now to the... Uh, play it once more. <coughs> getting down to the nitty-gritty playing these ones. Hopefully you're not in too many of these. Watch again. I get lower than you now. Yeah. You're a bit high. I, you see the way I'm down here? To try and counteract this, this bank here, I'm trying to get down as low as I can. So I get my weight crunch down here. Really concentrating now on where the club touches the ball. Beautiful. Great. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 That's still playable. There. I would say but it's fairly unlikely that you'll end up in a lie like that, isn't it? Well, it happens. That's the 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 That